So we're here at the Embedded World 2018, and uh, hi, so who are you? Hi, Nicholas, I'm John Weber, I'm with TechNection in the US. Uh, so TechNection is uh, having an uh, office in the US now? Yeah, we are. We're expanding in the US, we're adding people, we're adding some resources, engineering, etc. to help us develop better products and service our customers better in the United States and Canada and Mexico. So, and in South America, so we're very excited about that. And one of the reasons is, uh, uh, I mean, I, I don't know if that's, that's just one of the reasons, but the, the huge success with the Android things in the past year, right? Yeah, I mean... Uh, Technician is kind of like doing the reference board for Android things. Yes, we are. I mean, you know, one of the, we're super excited about all the exposure that we've been getting so far with Google, but we've been one of the... We've been one of Google's launch partners around Android Things in cooperation with NXP. Um, and uh, we're super excited about what actually what Google's doing with Android Things as well. I'm um, trying to solve is a lot of problems. There? Yeah, exactly. So, so what is that? So this is uh, this is one of our boards. So right here, I'll just I'll unbuckle this here for you. But this is a this is our Pico Pi board. Um, we have uh, our Pico SOM module here on it, and we also have on a Raspberry Pi uh, style baseboard. We have the Raspberry Pi expansion connector here. We have a um, an audio expansion connector here to add additional interfaces for um, digital microphone inputs and speakers outputs and I, we have even have our own little voice hat here um, that has uh, digital microphones as well as um, some speaker amplifiers um, LEDs and some push buttons for customers uh, to go easily uh, prototype products um, with Google Assistant or with Alexa um, from uh, Amazon and so we can just plug that right on top of using Android things is you can do both Google Assistant and Alexa and a thousand other things, right? Well, you can definitely do Google Assistant with Android things, and as well as all of the other uh, great things about Android. Um, connecting into uh, Google Cloud Platform is very simple. Um, Google Assistant, obviously built in, Chromecast built in. Um, so, uh, yeah, and there's a, there's a lot of great things that you're going to be able to do with it. Could, could, people can do uh, audio Chromecasting, like just uh, for yes. speakers and yes. stuff like that. Yes. And uh, robots, what they could do? Of all things. sorts of things. I mean, the thing about Android things that makes all, uh, makes embedded development with Android a whole lot easier because what Google's been doing with it uh, is making the various hardware peripherals a lot more accessible. Uh, GPIOs, UARDs, I2C, SPI, so you can do things like connect to um, off offboard uh, devices or even drive PWMs to servos. Um, there's actually a really great Android things demo uh, with a, a robot hand that plays uh, rock, paper, scissors. Nice. I don't know if you've seen it, but you oh. do this. And it uh, uses a camera, our camera, and the camera detects what the hand is doing, and then it tries to throw its own little robot hand, throws a uh, throws the opposite. I don't know if you've ever played the game. So anyway, it's, uh, yes. it's a cool demo. Yep. Uh, so so uh, uh, Google has been uh, giving out your boards at different events. Yeah, yeah. We're, so we're, this exactly like this? Uh, yeah, so what we what they've been doing is they've been we would take this, excuse me. Um, sorry, part fell off. Um, that won't fall off in production, by the way. So this is uh, this is our new little um, expansion connector we're adding on it. So the one that fell off is which one? Yeah, so this is uh, this is our Clicks board with their own little Wi-Fi Bluetooth module on it called Pixie, yeah. and uh, we on our latest generation of this of this baseboard, we can we can plug this right on top of here. But and then you would screw it in, like uh, yeah, we did. We don't have the standoffs and the screws, so we can easily uh, demonstrate it. Yeah. But it just kind of plugs in, just like this, using a little 40 pin header, a little 40 pin connector. Um, but yeah, Google has been uh, buying these from us, and they've been packaging in in their Android Things development kits. Um, so that their custom exactly this, one. Exactly this board, uh, and we also have a camera and a display. Um, that we package in with it, as well as a USB Type C cable. Yeah. Is it that display or no? Yeah, it's uh, no. This is a seven-inch display. They, we package the five-inch display with is it. Is it this one there? You, you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly. This, one. this is exactly the kit here. This is exactly the kit here. Um, so this is the Pico Pi baseboard um, with the five-inch display, and then we, we would have a camera um, as well uh, mm -hmm. that you can see over on the other on the other board. So if you come over here, you can yeah. see the. Well, the five megapixel camera that we have. Right here is the camera. Yeah. So you see, you're yeah, just pan down. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I can't see what you're looking yeah. at. So. 
Um, what are these? Yeah, these are well, these are speakers. So I mentioned this is our voice hat, right? To let customers uh, prototype with voice assistant technology. On this, we have a couple little demos. We we can play some music here through the speakers using the play button, and we can advance to another song. We have RGB LEDs here because that's very popular popular with the voice assistants for visual feedback. Um, and then one of the things you can't really see is two little digital microphones. Um, there's one here, there's a porthole through the PCB and the microphone's on the other side. There's one on the other side as well. We're doing things like direction finding and fur field, uh, fur field um, uh, voice uh, processing. So anyway, yeah, so this is our, this is a, uh, a product, well, this is our voice uh, demo that we have here today. And then I uh, <coughs> wanted to walk you over here and talk a little bit about uh, something else that we're super excited about. These will there. Yeah. So this is uh, this is our um, this is our Pixie uh, 9377. Is that the one that? Uh... Yeah. I was going to show you on the back of this. So we have. So right here, if you can see, I'm going to get this yeah. stuff out of the way. But right here is our Pixie module. Um, it is a 12 by 16 millimeter module um, that has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi built onto it. We have all the oscillators, everything else that you need, uh, and we can completely certify this module. We'll sell it completely certified. A little antenna connector right there. Sorry, can you stand uh, right on this side? Yeah. It's so small, it's hard to focus on. Oh, I was, yeah, I was wondering how well you're going to be able to do that. So, yeah. So you were saying? Um... So anyway, yeah. So this is our, our Pixie module. Um, it's our Wi-Fi Bluetooth combo solution uh, that we will be able to. We're going to package on all of our SOMs as an option uh, in multiple different radio types. So we'll have a one by one radio, uh, as well as a two by two um, MIMO radio, and we have other, for example, three by three, four by four radios as well that we'll be able to package onto that. And again, like I said, they'll be completely. Uh, certified FCC, CE, RED, uh, TELEC, um, and other uh, other regulatory certifications as well. So, so if you turn the board a little bit, actually there's this yeah. tiny board on this board. Yeah. Uh, so so the, the one you're talking about is just a small... Yeah, the one I'm talking about is our module, which is here. And what's we, behind it? Well, this is, a, this is a board that we have, it's called Plix. For connecting? It's, yeah, it's our new form factor for connecting uh, sensors and wireless uh, and other peripherals into our baseboards very, very easily. Um, so on the back side of a clicks board, you'll see a little 40 pin connector. Um, and then on our baseboards, we have another 40 pin connector. And you just very, in a four hole pattern here, we can use to, um, to mechanically attach the board to the baseboard. And you just plug that on there and uh, we have it so that uh, software will auto detect and plug and play that module. Um, so we'll be able to very easily um, add sensors and other expansion cap uh, other uh, capabilities to our baseboards. Um, but yeah, the Pixie is the is the little RF module on top here. And what we're not showing right now is that there will be a shield over the top of all of these components that you see right there. We've just taken the shield off uh, here so that you can see what's inside. Right, the shield is uh, kind of like a... Uh, uh, yeah, it's just an RF shield that you put over the top. It's something like that, but it's obviously not that um, not that specific part. So uh, that's a big deal because uh, people like to have options in Wi-Fi, or what does it mean? Well, what's really good about this is, one, we can offer long-life support on it, and then also we can offer um, full RF certification on it, so that actually reduces cost and complexity to customers really, really significantly. Um, as you know, I don't know if you know, but as you, you may know, uh, RF certification is actually very expensive uh, and very time consuming and it's just not something our customers want to deal with. So they want something that just comes right off the shelf and uh, they can just plug into the system and they don't have to worry about you know, paying the additional cost of certification. Nice. Yep. Uh, so, um, what, are you, what else are you showing here? You were showing that it's constantly yeah, connected to Wi-Fi? Yeah, we have, we have our Wi-Fi solution. This is really, uh, so we're, we're seeing a little bit of bandwidth coming forward. We're doing a little it's bit of an RF here. test. It's extremely busy in this hall. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the, the network is very, very crowded. But we're showing that we have a radio here. I mean, 
we, we've seen uh, bandwidths on this radio up to you know, 60, 70 megabits per second in here uh, yeah. when it's not so crowded. Uh, but right now, we're, we're, it's, uh, it's, it's yeah. not good, the network right now. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, so anyway, yeah, this is our module. We're showing it operational um, um, on one of our on our next generation of of our IMX7 uh, Pico module. And uh, so you have a, a bunch of uh, display solutions too. Yes, yeah. So let's uh, you know moving along here, we have a full line of HMIs, right? Yeah. So everything from five inches yeah. uh, all the way up through fifteen inches. And you even have a new one like this. Uh, what is this one there? Yeah, so this is our hermetically sealed yeah. uh, stainless steel waterproof 10 inch HMI. So you can see here, um, so stainless steel case. We've tested this fully submerged. Uh, and you see the connectors here um, for connecting DC inputs, video, and, um, and other, uh, and other uh, peripherals, LAN, USB. Um, Etc. So we have uh, this is great and interesting for customers in uh, high-end industrial medical applications. Yeah, I'm going to show you the 50. Over there. That's a big one. Hey, let me jump in here. So um, it says waterproof IP69K. Yes. Yes. So we can take this and we can actually submerge it in water. Uh, and like I said, it's hermetically sealed. So uh, we've actually tested this um, in a in a tub, in a big tub, um, uh, in our office in Taiwan. And um, uh, uh, yeah. is bright? Yeah, it's pretty bright display. It's a 15-inch monitor. Right. So um, yeah, we just have a little bit of a demonstration Which application time is, right uh, here. Our video is around here. Yeah, you know. So we have a, we can. This is just a demonstration yeah. here, showing you can reserve meeting rooms. Uh, and things like that, but you know, obviously for this kind of panel, a little bit of a higher end panel, um, and we have something, you know, this is a, a fully stainless steel display, so for medical applications, very clean, you can wipe it off, very sterile. It works in very cold, very hot. Yeah, I mean, you know, so we, you know, I think this is a, this is sort of a consumer, um, oh, sorry, commercial temperature uh, grade, so say zero to 60, or zero to 50 kind of uh, temperatures. Yeah, so maybe not for uh, the finished sauna booking uh, minus 20. That's too much. Yeah, probably. Okay. Probably too much. Okay. Yeah. So let's go back to the to the wall over there. Sure. So you had some. Um, and here's just to get a little quick overview. Of this. Okay. All the boards you have around here. Yeah, I can show you a little bit about what we have here. So a big part of what TechNation does is uh, we build reference design kits and other boards for our customers to make make use of our SOMs very easily. So this is a Pico SOM. Um, we also have an EDM SOM here, two different families of, of SOM products we have today. And we do a lot of, of baseboards uh, for these, uh, for different applications. Uh, one of them that you've seen already is the Pico Pie. So that's the Pico Pie base boards uh, without the SOM on it. So you can very easily take the SOM and plug that on top of it. Um, and we have, you know, a big part of what TechNection does is, is uh, we pick a form factor, we design around this form factor, and we give our customers best-in-class scalability. So what that means is they can design a baseboard, they can design their system. If they want to sell, if they want to have a very inexpensive uh, product, they could purchase uh, one kind of SOM, which is very inexpensive, use a single core processor, a dual core processor. What's the, how inexpensive? Uh, you know, I mean, you're talking in the $25 to $30 range for the SOM. And this is an IMX... Uh, this one's an IMX7 uh, dual SOM with built-in Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, uh, built-in EMMC, and uh, built-in flash. Or actually, actually, this is a SD card. We have an option for EMMC um, as well, which I... See if I can find one here for you. Oh, these are all micro SD card slots. That's okay. And you're doing we IMX have, 8 also? We are doing IMX 8. So yeah. at the show, we're demonstrating uh, Juan Pi 8M. Is it we, here? Or yeah, we don't have the, that here. It's NXP actually booth. It's in the NXP booth, yeah. yeah. So we're demonstrating our single board computer. It's in the... Uh, we can film that just after. Yeah, it's in, it's in, the, um, it's in the NXP booth. This is one. This is a Pico Pi, but One Pi 8M is in exactly the same form factor. It has the audio connector and the Raspberry Pi expansion header. Um, it's just that we have the IMX 8M on it instead of a Pico module slot right here. All right. Yep. 
So we have lots of different baseboards. This is our Nymph baseboard. Uh, this Nymph is uh, for industrial applications, industrial use cases. It has LBDS outputs, a couple of different um, uh, microelectronic bus outputs. It has uh, some uh, PCI, as mini PCI Express and M.2 slot um, for connecting, you know, like for example, this one has a SIM card slot on it so you can connect a, a cellular radio to it and the, the SIM card slot uh, connects up through the, the connector to the cellular radio so you can identify um, and provision the radio on the network. And then M.2 is great for adding things like, um, you know, external uh, Wi-Fi Bluetooth modules over PCI Express or USB. So that's, yeah, that's Nymph. Uh, we have a number of other baseboards here as well. So uh, we can show that to you. Like uh, this? This is, a, this is a, an example of an EDM baseboard. Um, so that's one of our EDM baseboards. We actually have, let me see if I can find another one here for you. Um, one of the new ones that we're building. Uh, yeah, so this one is, um, this is called EDM1 Gnome. Right, we have a Raspberry Pi expansion connector, so it looks very similar expansion-wise to this one, right? Um, but on the back side of it, we can connect an EDM SOM. And our EDM SOMs have a, um, have a little bit more integration, uh, a little bit uh, higher power um, capability. And, uh, and, you know, so for this, this is in a Pico ITX form factor, so our customers can easily plug this into, say, you know, Pico ITX form factor box. Um, and make a single board computer it's out of it. We can go everywhere from uh, low low cost IMX6 UL uh, kind of SOM all the way up through IMX6 Quad right now, and then IMX8M, IMX8 Quad, IMX8 Quad Max um, in the future. And all this is open source. It's done up in the open source, right? Uh, everything that clicks in does is open source. Well, everything that we do, we provide customers with. Um, for example, for the SOMs, we'll provide PDF schematics. For the baseboards, we'll provide full design files. Yeah. So, uh, so a customer can easily take our baseboards, our baseboard designs, use that as a reference uh, for their application, and easily create something that makes more sense for their use case and their application. Nice. Yeah. Should we uh, check some of the other stuff you have over there? Sure. So, uh, yeah. I just talk to you a little bit about kind of some of the new things that we have here. What um, colors so are? Uh, Windows yeah. In there. So this is. Yeah. So yeah. So um, in addition to uh, the, the most of the product that we build at Technection today is built on ARM technology. Yeah. Right. But we do have customers that ask us for uh, Windows, for example, and in those cases, you really need to use um, x86. There are a few uh, ARM ARM devices that don't have that do have Windows capability, but mostly it's on x86. So we have. Uh, it's coming, right? Like there, there might be some. Uh, some Qualcomm's that will have Windows support. Yes, yeah. yes, yeah, certainly. Yeah. Windows 10 IoT, um, etc. So we have, but well, we have these 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 products here um, are based on Intel Braswell. Um, so we have a 15-inch projected capacitive touch um, HMI, yeah. as well as a 10-inch uh, projected capacitive touch. And you know, again, these are great for. Uh, for lots of different um, applications, uh, we're just showing here that we have. And you also put an Intel in this one. Uh, we can put an in, yeah, we have put an Intel in our box PC. So if you don't need a if you don't need a display, yeah. right? We have um, a full line of embedded uh, embedded box kind of products with a, with a, that don't require any fans yeah. or any external cooling. Um, and we have this in either uh, Intel based or we have it in uh, X eighty or have it ARM. So we have the, yep. you have the IMX6 UL. Yep, the IMX6 uh, UL is a single core Cortex A7, yeah. um, and then we also have uh, a multi-core Braswell-based solution. Um, this one obviously is a lot less expensive, um, but part of what we do here with this is we make we we have a modular design methodology with these boxes as well as with our panels. Um, you see, this is our I/O here. We can. Uh, we can design, we have two different options. We have one for fully isolated, galvanically isolated solutions or applications that require full isolation. Um, and we have one that's uh, non-isolated, a little bit less expensive. Um, so if you don't need the isolation, you don't have to pay for it. The other thing is, is that we have a, a different power module here that has a different, has a different uh, LAN connector. So if you need to use power over ethernet, we have that. Um, if you want 
12 volts, 24 volts, or wide voltage uh, input DC. Um, you just pick which one you want, and we can put it whatever which uh, whichever one you want make, make, nice. uh, for it. There's another uh, IMX7 uh, little uh, yep. tablet solution there. This is our this is our um, yeah we have the Tab 0700 which is our panel. Um, we can put that IMX7 or IMX6 IMX6 UL um, in this panel. What is this? NXP. Oh, yeah, yeah. So this is another um, Pixie module. This is a, a wireless module like we were talking about before. Is it a Wi-Fi? Uh, no, this is actually Zigbee. It's 802.11, uh, sorry, 802.15.4 and Bluetooth so in the same chip. So, uh, yeah, so you can run Zigbee, Thread, um, 6 low pan, et cetera, um, on that, on that chipset. Nice. So, yeah. uh, Technician designs uh, kind of like standards. These... Uh, this new Pixie and the thing is like, is uh, nobody else does that size or are you the first one to do them or? Well, we, 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 I'd say that I'd say that that we have a modular design approach to everything that we do. Uh, we want to make maximum use of designs um, as we as we can. All right, so you know, so that we design once and then we provide our customers with scalability for the future. So if they. For example, they design their baseboard for IMX6, for example, and they want to put an IMX8M on it. Um, we'll have we'll have an option for them with IMX8M and, and other products in the future. And so that's really our our approach to uh, to embedded design to try to make the lives of our customers a lot easier. I just there was a little bit more. There's some uh, some more uh, uh, seven yeah. inch different designs, different yeah. colors. Yeah, yeah. So this is a uh, this is a, a, a product that we've had around for a long time. We call it Toucan. Um, and here we're just showing a CAN demo, uh, where we have an application running on all of these, and they communicate over CAN bus. So I can press this button, and all of the green buttons will light up, and I can press this button, and it can change different colors, but it's all communicating over CAN bus. All right. And the little Kremlin. Yeah, so it's very similar to the EDM1 GNOME. Um, we have two different types of EDM modules, EDM1 and EDM2. EDM2 is great for uh, for adding uh, additional LVDS displays um, for industrial applications, and this is just a baseboard we have for that um, for that purpose. And some more Pixie over there also. Was that that same? Yeah, it's the same one. Same one. Yep. All right. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, what's going to you be, you're going to be busy with this in this coming year, right? Well, we're super going? excited about Android Things. We're super excited about Alexa. Uh, in the future, uh, we're super excited about what NXP is doing with IMX 8M, and yeah. IMX 8X, and IMX 8 Quad Max, and in the future with, uh, with potentially with Qualcomm. So we're, you know, we're really looking forward to uh, to what's going on right now with uh, IMX 8M. IMX 8M is just hitting is just hitting mass production. Uh, we take pre-orders for all of our Wanpai 8M boards that is we're that selling very on Wanboard. High performance. IMX 8M, yeah, it's much, much higher performance. It's a quad-core Cortex-A53, which will do 4K video uh, decode, so we're seeing a lot of interest in it for media streaming um, applications, uh, infotainment applications. Um, so, yeah, that one is, is really where we're going to be focusing over the next uh, several months. Yep.